I'm going to do a brief overview of the Ultra Autoconomator software or UAC as it's seen on the desktop icons. Very important when you come into this software that if you see this warning, it's telling you that the system is not calibrated. The calibration constants for the Ultra Auto Collimator are stored on the PC, not in the instrument. So it's important that the laptop has been uh, propagated with those two factors for the X and Y correction. If those are filled in, you will not see that error message again. At the top left hand corner we have the version number which is very important if you have any questions uh, about the software. It's important to us to know whether we've either been asked a question before or it's a new investigation. So if you could report the version number you're discussing, that would be very helpful. In the top left hand corner, we have the home key. By pressing the home from anywhere in the software, it will return to this main home page. Below that is global settings. This will be covered in a separate video, but it includes selection of language, where you put the results, measurement options, and the mode of use. Here we have the help file. It's a PDF file which is stored on the disk which can be printed but it's accessible during the program running. It's a handbook you can go through, look through the index or if you wish you can just type in in the search field zero or any word and it will find those. The screen itself shows the pinhole dot on the camera. So if we actually move the mirror, you'll see both the dot moves and the X and Y coordinates. The convention of where the coordinate system is, is positive upwards in the Y axis and positive to the right in the X axis. Normal graphical convention. If we want to take a measurement, we can press the measure icon and it will log the X and Y position at that very moment. Press again, again, again. If there's a measurement error, somebody walks in the door and there's a vibration and it's clearly wrong, you can go back by one. You can go back again and then continue to measure. If you realize that the measurements are all wrong for some reason, you can go to this measurement icon and remeasure all points. It will ask you, are you sure? Because you could lose a lot of data just by pressing the wrong key once. So it does confirm, okay, yes, remove all measurement points. If we have valid data and we want to save that, we go to the save icon and that will allow you in the normal Windows format to choose the folder in which it's saved and the file name it's saved and it's saved as a CSV comma separated variable file. On the right hand side, we have the ability to change the settings. As soon as I try and do that, because we have data, it may be that we're going to change measurement conditions halfway through a measurement, which is not allowed. So it's warning you it will clear all of the current data if you proceed. So we will proceed. These tabs are all covered in a separate video and are various measurement options. The camera itself, you're allowed to adjust the exposure, the gain, and the, what's called the pixel clock rate, or it can be done automatically, and we'll cover this in a separate video. If you're making a measurement and you want this particular point, the start point, to be zero as a datum point, we can select this, and the X and Y become zero, and all measurements now will be relative to this point. To clear that, we press it again, and it clears back to the center of the camera. The last icon on the right is if you're working from a distance and you want to see the numbers larger, you can watch the numbers themselves as opposed to the graphical image. And again, going back. The last option here is the Electro Optics application software, which is this is the only way you should start this software and we'll cover that in a separate video. To leave the software, we press close program.